Cambridge English, Key English Test Listening. Sample Test. There are five parts to the test. You will hear each piece twice. We will now stop for a moment. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question one. One. Where will Claire meet Alex? Hi, Claire. Are you in the city centre? Hi, Alex. Yes, I'm just having a sandwich in the cafe. How about you? I'm at the museum, looking at a really great art exhibition. Why don't you come and meet me here? OK, but just for an hour. I've got to go to the hairdressers at two. Now listen again. Hi, Claire. Are you in the city centre? Hi, Alex. Yes, I'm just having a sandwich in the cafe. How about you? I'm at the museum, looking at a really great art exhibition. Why don't you come and meet me here? OK, but just for an hour. I've got to go to the hairdressers at two. Two. What time should the man telephone again? Can I speak to Fred Warner, please? He's in a meeting now. I'll ask him to call you at quarter past ten when he comes out. I'm seeing a customer then. I can phone at twelve o'clock. He'll be in another meeting then. Call at half past before he goes for lunch. OK. Now listen again. Can I speak to Fred Warner, please? He's in a meeting now. I'll ask him to call you at quarter past ten when he comes out. I'm seeing a customer then. I can phone at twelve o'clock. He'll be in another meeting then. Call at half past before he goes for lunch. OK. Three. When are they going to have the party? Shall we have a party this month? A Friday night is best. How about July the 18th? I have to work late that day. The 11th will be better. We've got theatre tickets for then. Are we doing anything on the 25th? Well, that's fine. Let's make it then. The 11th is too soon anyway. Now listen again. Shall we have a party this month? A Friday night is best. How about July the 18th? I have to work late that day. The 11th will be better. We've got theatre tickets for then. Are we doing anything on the 25th? Well, that's fine. Let's make it then. The 11th is too soon anyway. Four. What was the weather like on the picnic? Did you have a good picnic yesterday? It was so sunny and hot. Yes, but we almost didn't go because the television weatherman was talking about rain. So did you take umbrellas with you? Yes, but of course we didn't use them. It's good we didn't go today. There's such a strong wind. Now listen again. Did you have a good picnic yesterday? It was so sunny and hot. Yes, but we almost didn't go because the television weatherman was talking about rain. So did you take umbrellas with you? Yes, but of course we didn't use them. It's good we didn't go today. There's such a strong wind. Five. How much are the shorts? 
Excuse me, are these shorts in the sale? Yes, sir. Everything on that shelf is five pounds. I'll take this shirt too. That's fifteen pounds. So with the shorts, that will be twenty pounds. Now listen again. Excuse me, are these shorts in the sale? Yes, sir. Everything on that shelf is five pounds. I'll take this shirt too. That's fifteen pounds. So with the shorts, that will be twenty pounds. That is the end of part one. Now look at part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word, or a number, or a date, or a time. Look at questions six to ten now. You have ten seconds. You will hear a teacher talking to a group of students about summer jobs. Several students from this college went to work for Sunshine Holidays last year and enjoyed it. So I'm going to give you some information about working in their summer camps this year. The camps start on the 15th of June, so you must be free from then until August the 20th. Most students then spend September travelling around and having a holiday before they come home. The camps are for children who are between 10 and 15 years old, and to work there you have to be 19, so that's OK for most of you. You don't need to be good at sports or languages, but they only want people who can drive. That's because you'll take the children out on trips by car. Each week you'll get £65, so you could save over £500 during your time there. If you're interested, you need to write a letter and send it with a photo to Sunshine Holidays. So, does anyone have any questions? Now listen again. Several students from this college went to work for Sunshine Holidays last year and enjoyed it. So I'm going to give you some information about working in their summer camps this year. The camps start on the 15th of June, so you must be free from then until August the 20th. Most students then spend September travelling around and having a holiday before they come home. The camps are for children who are between 10 and 15 years old, and to work there you have to be 19, so that's OK for most of you. You don't need to be good at sports or languages, but they only want people who can drive. That's because you'll take the children out on trips by car. Each week you'll get £65, so you could save over £500 during your time there. If you're interested, you need to write a letter and send it with a photo to Sunshine Holidays. So, does anyone have any questions? That is the end of part two. Now look at part three. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds.
You will hear Robert talking to his friend Laura about a trip to Dublin. Hi, Laura. Some of us are going for a weekend in Dublin this year. Are you free at the beginning of next month? Yes, I'd love to come. Great. Who else is going? I asked my cousins, but they're playing in a tennis competition, so there'll be four of us from my office and you. Where are we staying? I tried to book a guest house. It was full, but visitors can rent rooms in the university during the holidays. We'll do that. It's cheaper than a hotel. Excellent. Are you taking your new camera? Yes, some maps of the city too. But you'll need a coat. It often rains. Okay. Have you been before? Yes. The centre's busy. The shops are always full of people. My friends and I loved all the beautiful buildings. I really enjoyed learning about their history. Yeah. So, are you excited about the trip? Yeah, but it's a pity the music festival won't be on. When I'm in Dublin, I always have lots of fish. It's fantastic. There's a new art exhibition. You might like it, but. I'm not interested. Yeah, maybe. Now listen again. Hi, Laura. Some of us are going for a weekend in Dublin this year. Are you free at the beginning of next month? Yes, I'd love to come. Great. Who else is going? I asked my cousins, but they're playing in a tennis competition, so there'll be four of us from my office and you. Where are we staying? I tried to book a guest house. It was full, but visitors can rent rooms in the university during the holidays. We'll do that. It's cheaper than a hotel. Excellent. Are you taking your new camera? Yes. Some maps of the city too, but you'll need a coat. It often rains. Okay. Have you been before? Yes. The centre's busy. The shops are always full of people. My friends and I loved all the beautiful buildings. I really enjoyed learning about their history. Yeah. So, are you excited about the trip? Yeah, but it's a pity the music festival won't be on. When I'm in Dublin, I always have lots of fish. It's fantastic. There's a new art exhibition. You might like it, but I'm not interested. Yeah, maybe. That is the end of part three. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Sixteen. You will hear a woman talking to her friend about why she's bought a motorbike. Why did she buy it? So you've got a motorbike, Sally. Yeah. What do you think? Cool. Thanks. I paid quite a lot for it, but I'll be able to get to college in ten minutes now. Remember how I was always late last year? And you were always having to repair your old bicycle, weren't you? Yeah. It was just too slow, really. Now listen again. So you've got a motorbike, Sally? Yeah. What do you think? Cool. Thanks. I paid quite a lot for it, but I'll be able to get to college in ten minutes now. Remember how I was always late last year? And you were always having to repair your old bicycle, weren't you? Yeah. It was just too slow, really. Seventeen. You will hear two friends talking about going to university. 
What subject is the man going to study? So, do you think you'll enjoy university? Yes, especially the trips. I loved science at school, but I won't need it much. I thought about studying history, but couldn't find a course I really liked. We're learning about mountains and rivers in the first term, which will be great. And I'm looking forward to finding out about cities and how they've developed over time. Now listen again. So, do you think you'll enjoy university? Yes, especially the trips. I loved science at school, but I won't need it much. I thought about studying history, but couldn't find a course I really liked. We're learning about mountains and rivers in the first term, which will be great. And I'm looking forward to finding out about cities and how they've developed over time. Eighteen. You will hear two friends talking about a photograph. What's the photograph of? What a great photo! Thanks! They were all moving around so quickly, running and jumping about. Is that a group of mothers over there? Yes, and the little ones were all ready to go home. Their lessons were over for the day. It was raining, but they just wanted to run around after being indoors for so many hours. Now listen again. What a great photo! Thanks! They were all moving around so quickly, running and jumping about. Is that a group of mothers over there? Yes, and the little ones were all ready to go home. Their lessons were over for the day. It was raining, but they just wanted to run around after being indoors for so many hours. Nineteen. You will hear a woman talking to a friend on the phone. Why is she upset? I feel so upset. I can't see it anywhere. It probably fell out of my bag on the way to the station. I can't buy a ticket now. I'm going back to work to ask if anybody has seen it or can lend me some money. I have an appointment for an eye test this afternoon. I'll be late now. Now listen again. I feel so upset. I can't see it anywhere. It probably fell out of my bag on the way to the station. I can't buy a ticket now. I'm going back to work to ask if anybody has seen it or can lend me some money. I have an appointment for an eye test this afternoon. I'll be late now. Twenty. You will hear a woman talking to a friend, David, about something she's bought. What has she bought? Did you buy something nice, Kate? Yes, David. I'm delighted. We're having a special meal tomorrow for my sister's birthday. My cousin's cooking. And we'll play some board games afterwards. The whole family will be there, and I want to look nice. Sure. I wanted something green, and this is so comfortable. Of course, we'll all argue about the games. Now listen again. Did you buy something nice, Kate? Yes, David. I'm delighted. We're having a special meal tomorrow for my sister's birthday. My cousin's cooking, and we'll play some board games afterwards. The whole family will be there, and I want to look nice. Sure. I wanted something green, and this is so comfortable. Of course, we'll all argue about the games. That is the end of part four.
Now look at part five. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 21 to 25 now. You have 15 seconds. You will hear Simon talking to Maria about a party. What will each person bring to the party? Are you nearly ready for your birthday party on Saturday, Maria? I think so, Simon. I've made a cake and my friends are bringing the other food. That's a good idea. Barbara's going to bring some oranges and grapes. And I'll bring some bread and cheese from the market if you like. Everyone gets hungry at parties, don't they? <laughs> Thanks, Simon. But you don't need to bring bread because Anita's bringing that. She wanted to bring ice cream, but I think the weather's too cold. Mm, it is. <laughs> Perhaps Peter can help. He likes cooking, doesn't he? Yes. He emailed me and asked me to choose roast chicken or fish. I chose chicken because it's more popular than fish. What do you think? That sounds great. What's Michael bringing? He's coming, isn't he? Yes, he loves parties. I telephoned him and he's going to make a big bowl of sliced tomatoes and onions. Lovely. Now listen again. Are you nearly ready for your birthday party on Saturday, Maria? I think so, Simon. I've made a cake and my friends are bringing the other food. That's a good idea. Barbara's going to bring some oranges and grapes. And I'll bring some bread and cheese from the market if you like. Everyone gets hungry at parties, don't they? <laughs> Thanks, Simon. But you don't need to bring bread because Anita's bringing that. She wanted to bring ice cream, but I think the weather's too cold. Mm, it is. <laughs> Perhaps Peter can help. He likes cooking, doesn't he? Yes. He emailed me and asked me to choose roast chicken or fish. I chose chicken because it's more popular than fish. What do you think? That sounds great. What's Michael bringing? He's coming, isn't he? Yes. He loves parties. I telephoned him and he's going to make a big bowl of sliced tomatoes and onions. Lovely. That is the end of part five. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.